The future of the NOAA is very, very important. The more elements to the electricity network we can cover in the NOAA, the better overall value for the consumer. What we would like to do with, with the NOAA is expand it out so that it covers more of the network and reap the benefits of that. One of the key things we're trying to develop in the NOAA process is to increase the level of participation. Um, we think by doing this, we'll be driving towards solutions that um, are more efficient, more economic. It's pretty obvious to say, the more solutions you have, the better value for the consumer. It's not just going to be about major transmission assets. There's a lot of different other companies and organisations that can feed into that. There'll be a whole range of answers and solutions that we can come up with a much more diverse solution to the network options assessment process. We need to bring all these into the mix and the knower needs to be able to deal with all of that complexity and come out with what we believe is the best thing overall for the consumer. We have a range of current issues on the system. These range from high voltage regional issues, stability issues, thermal constraint issues, and we are seeking whole system solutions to each of these needs to try and drive best value for the consumer in the solutions we take forward. We have been spending quite a lot of money into the balancing services just to manage the summer minimum voltage. So that's one of the area we are trying to find out whether there are other better solutions to resolve this issue. We're using the Pathfinder projects um, to expand the NOAA process. The way we're, we're using it is a trial by doing approach. Um, so we're looking at addressing key issues going forwards assessing new additional network needs that we haven't assessed before and also involving more participants. We're going to see some thermal constraints. Uh, so by having a constraint manager pathfinder, if you're planning to assess some uh, products to alleviate those constraints uh, in those locations for a certain period of time. There's always room and space for innovation, always room and space for potentially new ways of meeting um, those issues and challenges. It's not just a case of us being a individual party. This is a whole industry approach. The network going forward is going to be uh, very complex. There's going to be a lot of challenges, and those challenges aren't ones that just National Grid as ESO is going to be able to solve. So we need innovation to be able to do the analysis that we need to do, but also make sure that we're coming up with the right solutions. We also need to have competition so that those new ideas can, can compete with all of the technology that already exists and all of the participants that already exist so that we have that playing field where everybody can get involved and you know, drive value for the consumer. We need your feedback to make sure that we're providing you with the information you need in order to provide us with the options to assess. By seeking options from a wider range of participants, we can make sure that we continue to drive value for the consumer and that we all continue to enjoy the same reliable, safe and economic network that we have today. We have a NOAA publication, which is well worth a read. We also have um, our Electricity 10-Year Statement documents and also looking at how new participants can get involved.